Welcome from Luxembourg. My first time here and experience is rather mixed. On one side we have a very interesting flying site with excellent camp, amazing hospitality, all the facilities provided. On the other side we have a field which is not all that suited for F5J. So if you have a look around, you see this is a valley. And the bottom of this valley is quite busy highway. And on the other side of the flying field is a hill. And behind me there's a village behind that ridge that I'm standing on. And as you can probably hear, we have a windy day. Yesterday was even windier and that caused us lots of fun or frustration, whatever you prefer. So, thing is, this place is oriented in a east-west fashion. This is looking to the south and highways to the north and what we got was a forecast of six seven meters per second of wind from the south which means we were at the mercy of the turbulences down in the valley caused by that hill and while the flying in the before noon was still kind of manageable and easy Afternoon became a nightmare with flights of 10 minutes becoming an exception, not a norm. And we've even seen things like someone getting a thousand points from 275 meters with nine minutes of flying time. It was that severe. It's all I don't remember when it was last when I saw a model wing broke, break in mid-air due to the turbulence. And even if this time was at the point of a previous repair, it was still an uh, amazing sight that demonstrated the conditions in the air we have here. So I positioned myself downwind up on this ridge. I expect most of the flying to happen far behind me. So the only interesting thing to see would probably be the start. What will the pilots decide to have as their start height? So in the qualifying rounds there were two popular choices. One was to go far into the wind to try and catch a wave of the ridge to the southwest and some even succeeded in that then the next popular choice was towards the hill trying to be higher than the top of the hill and maybe catching away from it and the reasonable choice in my opinion was behind the hill, downwind, trying to find a proper terminal. So let's see, I hear starts is now commencing. I don't expect anyone to really go low. Majority went towards the hill and one is trying his luck over the highway. So we have people positioned at the highway fence with a, a loud horn. You might be able to hear it. Warning pilots to not cross the highway for obvious reasons. We don't want anyone to cross the highway and risking landing on it uh, when returning. So 
there are a few challenges now with flight in such conditions. First, you have to find a thermal that you trust enough and then ride it far downwind, gaining some height in the process. And this needs to give you enough height that you are then able to come back. So a certain amount of courage is required as long as conditions are there and if the wind is blowing away all the thermals then this can quickly become a risky situation. So now looks like at least half of the planes are in this part of the sky I'm looking at. And they're quickly becoming tiny dots. Oh, I've heard mid-air collision. There's a wing being torn off. Fell somewhere at the... where the first houses begin. That's not cool. And looks like the other guy is returning for a refly. Can't really blame anyone at such distances, but it's a lottery. minutes into the flight and planes are already trying to come back and they will pilots will have to repeat this exercise a couple more times to get the 15 minutes they need although there's one person really far away still circling bravely if I can focus this properly Should be about here. So this guy is not the farthest out. team has been dispatched to fetch the plane or whatever is left of it. In the meantime, at least one of the pilots decided to come back already, which I would say is a smart choice. 
at least in my flying I'm always prioritizing the ability to come back safely that's why I typically don't take unnecessary risk but that's why I stay out of fly-off in conditions like this of the field and that bush was a savior in a couple of flights this morning already looks like the pilot here is dancing around it trying to find something a uh, bubble of hot air that or warm air that uh, would unstick from that bush no luck so far I think he's too far ahead of it now but maybe something will happen down in the valley ah, there's another plane landing in the bush or behind it yeah, it's an interesting condition let's follow this guy he will at least get a score so that's worth something Okay, looks like a decent landing. So where's the next one? No one behind me. But someone landed there behind that bush. And the group here is fighting. So they all came back to find nothing. And now it, beca it becomes a lottery and the game of who has larger balls i would say it's really hard to enjoy these things uh, uh, that uh, shadow that overflew me go home, that's a safe choice. So what are the others doing? Another plane close to me, but let's focus on the daredevil in the back. I'm something like 200 meters downwind and then these guys are further downwind still and I see two more people climbing the barbed wire fences to fetch their planes Another crash, come on people. It's now getting busy around here. Now they will both land behind those bushes 
I'm not sure, not sure if they will make it down the hill. But let's follow this guy. Not sure if he will make it either. And this position I would push the nose down and go for the landing point. It's now behind the bush from where I'm standing. Not sure if you will make it out. So from what I've seen so far there are two planes on the ground. One crashed, one to another two crashed and now two are still in the air. There's one still trying to do something. Both of them are fighting. But it's time to land now, so they... Pilots got a full time out of this, amazing. So they can do a less risky start for a reflight. And let's see the reflight goes fine without further crashes and stupidity. Ten seconds to start of the second flight and at least one plane has still hasn't been found. Let's see what happens in the second flight. I only see seven out of the eight planes, so two are missing. So one at least one is now picking a safe choice going up front. At least you can't lose your model this way because wind will bring it back to you. And then there's uh, someone trying to... I don't know what he's trying to actually... Doing some wild circles here close to me. He's flying to the other side. Looks like it's better air here. look too good in my opinion especially not for this wind
Earth definitely rising in this direction, but question is, is this going up fast enough? Another plane has joined them from the left and they're all circling. other side there are two planes again next to me fighting for their flying minutes Maybe going home is the better choice. Okay, let's check where the others are and what they are doing. Looks like they're trying to come back. And there's one slower than the others. That was a warning horn, someone is over the highway.
trying the other side of this ridge, but it doesn't really work. One landing and one whole plane for this guy. Okay. Next. There is a pair that had just a very close call right now. I think they missed each other by a few meters. pushing for more time. Others are also trying to ride that wave. Let's see if they manage.
looks like this time three planes made a full time and French team still didn't find their plane if this can become a problem let's see seconds before the third start conditions are still much the same and so is the strategy like nobody is trying low now at least not as low as before
looks like someone started much higher than the rest and also no good air for him he's just hanging there and observing what's happening below him trying to write whatever the guys down here find Something developed now because this guy was below me not a minute ago and is now climbing happily. like they gained quite nice height but not too much distance very nice but now the wind increased Looks like this thermal that gave them these heights is now going up like crazy. they're just hanging there there's still enough time for them so better spend it at a safe height
five minutes to go. So there were four and I only see three now. And the third one is even higher. Now it's time to go home. to go. Too early, one more circle. And one more dive. Very good. Now let's see what will they do about the refly. 
maybe we will see another start fourth start let's hope it's the last Everyone is now high. This guy is the lowest. Looks like this is indeed a reef line now and he needs a score. broke one more and ground looks like elevator failure something of that sort a bit and looks like there's no thermals anymore. Although these two guys are definitely trying.
cheering for someone, not sure for whom, maybe for this guy. Looks like he got something, definitely. if it will be enough though and he's trying again Nothing good for him. Looks like a busy airspace now. Ok, 
Okay. There's still a few planes in the air. At least two are here in front of me. That's all for this fly-off. Now there's one more person flying. Let's find him. I don't see him. Ah, there he is. Out in the blue, now reaching the cloud edge. had enough guts to let him be blown downwind and he gained enough height and, and time with that decision heads off but frankly all the top 10 pilots in this fly-off deserve respect because flying in this kind of conditions is not enjoyable at all, it's hard work. On top of that, perfect eyesight is a prerequisite. And being in this uh, small field with houses, highway, hill close by, You need to believe in yourself and your plane to do the job. Uh, he's having fun. Very good. Now let's see the results.
gleich mal einen Applaus für die tollen Zeitnehmer, die hier wirklich einen super Job gemacht haben. Ich 
unglaublich! 60 Meter!
Ich möchte mich noch mal herzlich bei dem Verein, bei dem Luxemburger Verein und bei der Sherry bedanken, die auch im Vorfeld sehr viel an Organisationsarbeit geleistet hat. Genau. Ich wünsche euch trotz allem eine schöne Reise.